Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Sunday. I'm doing this in the morning, but Sunday, November 26, as we get ready to come together on the Lord's Day. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get right into this today. 1 Peter chapter 3. For he who would love life, and this is verse 10, and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Can you imagine what this world would be like if it wasn't for the laws of God, keeping people, keeping evil restrained, if you know what I'm trying to say. All right, our prayer focus today is health care. And our states that we're praying for is Rhode Island and Connecticut. Rhode Island's got a million population, 14% evangelical Christians. Connecticut's got three and a half million with 13% evangelical Christians. All right, I think we're all set. Let's go ahead and pray today. Precious Father, we thank you on this Sunday Right at the beginning, Lord, we lift up every church service from here on the east all the way to the west. And whenever anybody's watching this from each and every time zone, I thank you, Lord, that you care, that you, your bride is the church. You call us the church. So how special the church is to you. And we praise you for that, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 All hail the name of Jesus. Let angels prostrate forth. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him the Lord, the Lord of all. We love you, sir. We honor you, sir. And we honor the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Excuse me one second. We left the music on. Computer, pause. Father, as we continue to love you, we thank you during this Christmas season for many people coming to Christ, many people being born again, many people accepting the free gift of salvation through, our, through your loving kindness, Lord. We thank you for that. Father God, we lift up the nations before you. We start off today praying for the nation of Israel. We pray as these hostages are being released, Lord, somehow, some way they can see where they all are, get them all out of there, and then get rid of Hamas, that this is not going to turn into a, a total ceasefire where Hamas just gets to rebuild themselves again and then have to go through this in a couple months again. We pray, Father, for the destruction of the organization of Hamas, Hezbollah, and all the Iranian proxies. We pray their destruction in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, as we saw those two that they thought were uh, giving Israel information and they hung them upside down and chopped them up. They are just evil, evil people. I pray that they come to repentance, Lord. But if they don't, I pray that they be eliminated and taken out of the way, that they won't bring harm to good people. I pray for common sense in the nations towards this spirit of anacism, anticism now, Lord. And I just pray that people would just see that Israel didn't start this war, but I pray that Israel will finish this war in Jesus' name. Lord, we see everything setting up so perfectly for the Ezekiel 38-39 war. Iran, Turkey, Russia, and then some other smaller nations, but those main three already coming together, already saying things about Israel. So we thank you, Lord, that we know how that war is going to end up. And we thank you that most likely we will not be here to see that war. And if that's so, we are very close to the rapture. We lift up every nation in the world before you. We lift up today Maratias as the main focus nation, Lord. 9.7% evangelical Christians. We pray for them. I lift up Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Mongolia, China, 
Metamar. We pray for these from salvations of 0.4 all the way to only 4.8. And we pray that people's eyes would be open to the glorious light of the gospel. We pray for our United States of America. We lift up Rhode Island and Connecticut before you, but we pray for every state. We pray for New Jersey, Lord, and what you're trying to accomplish here through us, your church. And I thank you, Lord, that we could be a part of something bigger than ourselves. Hallelujah. 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 We pray for those that are in authority today. We again bind up evil people and we pray for the godly that you would continue to use them, Father. Father, we pray for our health care system. So much weird stuff nowadays. People don't even want to go to a doctor, go to a hospital when they see all this weird stuff or they got to wait months even to be seen. Terrible, terrible. What's happened to America? Oh, what was that? Obamacare that was supposed to make everything so wonderful. Oh, Lord, we're like a third world nation here. Help us, Lord. Give us your health. You're the greatest health care person that there is. As we pray for the world, we lift up before you the Salvation Army, Samaritan Purse, Scripture Union, Seed Company, Send International, SIM, S-I-M, Salvic Gospel Association. And we pray for these ministries that you would use them mightily, Lord. We pray for our church, Christian Faith Fellowship Church. Lord, last week we were believing for five people to be born again and seven people raised their hands. Hallelujah! Today we call in another five, Lord, for your honor and glory, Lord, that they could become true disciples of Jesus Christ. We pray for our church and every church that's preaching the gospel from the East Coast to the West. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in and we pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters, Lord. And we just thank you again for needs being met according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, I lift up my brothers and sisters that are with me, Lord, and I pray your blessing upon them and their families that you would use them, restore them, eliminate distractions from their lives so that they can set their affection on things above and not on things of this earth. Now, Lord, as we start wrapping up, we always wrap up with praise to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, the other day I watched that beautiful orangey moon, full moon, setting there, setting there, setting there, setting on the west. It was so pretty to just watch it. I woke Diane up at 4.30, amen, and, amen, and said, uh, amen, A-M, and said, you got to come see this. Just so beautiful. Your wonders to behold, majesty. We are looking for the eternals where we're going to be celebrating Jesus. We're going to be discovering new things, and we're going to be enjoying all the wonders that you've made. Abba, you said, there'll be no more tears, no more sorrow, no more pain. The former things have passed away. You said in Isaiah, when we're on this new earth, it's going to be so amazing. We're not even going to remember the old earth anymore. Woo I'm looking forward to that. All that pain, all that suffering that we have gone through with losing loved ones, battles against our body, on and on. Because of our Redeemer, they're all gone. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you. Again, I thank you for these that are with me. Thank you for the services today. And thank you always for your strength to serve you each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God is good. If you're with me in the morning, see you in a little bit. If you're here later on, hope you enjoyed the service today. Not just enjoyed, I hope you served in the service today in any way possible. God bless. Have a great day.